Hi everyone, Google Bard has been updated with some new features this month and it has become more flexible, more powerful. Google Bard is an AI chatbot developed by Google. It uses the large language model Palm 2. Palm 2 is Google's own language model. It is trained with 3.4 trillion tokens. A token is basically a data unit that may be a word, that may be a phrase or an emoji or anything that sort of. So in this video, we'll try to understand what are those new features. This is the page where you can check all the updates. bar.google.com slash updates. Here you can see the date 13th July 2023. And if you scroll down, you can see all the previous updates. So update number one. BARD is available in new places and languages, over 40 new languages and it has been expanded to more places including 27 countries in Europe and Brazil. To check what are all the languages that BARD can understand, you can ask BARD directly or you can also visit BARD help center and check for all the support. To access BARD, this is the URL bard.google.com. If I ask BARD directly, what are the languages BARD can understand? And it says BARD can understand over 100 languages, including all these languages. Or you can also visit BARD Help Center. Here, let me ask the same question. And these are all the languages BARD can understand. And here it also shows BARD is available in the following countries and territories. Next big update is Google Lens in BARD. It says you can upload images alongside text in your conversation with BARD and for Google Lens now it only supports English. Now let's go to BARD and try to play with some images. If you want a new chat you can click here and a new chat will be opened. This is the chat box and here you can see upload file and I'll upload an image and I'll say please describe this image. It says the image shows a group of people standing in front of the Colosseum in Rome, Italy. And then it says a little bit about the Colosseum. You can get all the details about the place and whatever is observed by Google Lens. And also it says some additional details like the image was taken on a sunny day. The sky is blue. The ground in front of the Colosseum is covered in gravel. The people in the image are all wearing casual clothing. So like this, if you have an image of any unknown place or any unknown thing, you can get the details using Google Bard. Now in a different chat, let me take a different type of image and I'll ask the same question. Please describe the image. So this is basically a plant in a pot and it says the image shows a potted plant sitting on the top of a table and some explanation about this plant. I'll ask which plant is it and it says the plant in the image is most likely a pothos, which is also called as money plant and it has given some characteristics of a pothos plant. Now let's move on to the next update. It says Bard can read responses out loud, that is text to speech. And it says with different languages like Hindi, Spanish, US English. Now let's go to our response and here in the right side, we can click on this listen. The plant in the image is most likely a pothos, also known as devil's ivy or syndasus. So listening makes more interactive as well as you can get the actual pronunciation of any new word. Next update is pinned and recent threads. It says you can now pick up where you left off with your past bar conversation and organize them according to your needs. So basically you can pin your conversation for your later use and you can start from wherever you have left and you can continue your conversation. And if I want to pin it, I can pin it like this. And it asks me to give some name, some meaningful name I can give, Pothos Plant. And I click on pin. And why is it necessary? It says the best ideas take time, sometimes multiple hours or days to create. Keep your threads and pin your most critical threads to keep your creative process flowing. So if you are working on an idea, you can pin the conversation and you can continue it for some hours or some days. You can also translate the response. Please translate the above response to Hindi. And it has clearly translated the above response into Hindi. And let's try to listen this. Sure. Here is the translation of the above response to Hindi. Chavi mein sabse adhik sambhavna ek porthos hai. Next update is share your bar conversations with others. So this is the response we have generated using BARD and below you can see 
share and export you can export it to google docs or draft in gmail or you can click on share and it says create a public link to share any files you uploaded are not included so we have two options here this prompt and response or entire chat let's select entire chat and here you can see the image is not available here and rest of the conversations are available and below you can create the public link and this is the link which you can share next update modify bars responses we are introducing five new options to help you modify bars responses so let's check here and for this we have to create a new chat and let me ask bar to write a poem write a poem about rainy season and this is the poem it has generated about rainy season and if you go down here is an option modify response and if you click here there are five options we have shorter longer simpler more casual or more professional so after generating the response you can make it shorter like this and it has generated a new poem in a shorter format let's make it longer and this is the new poem it has generated so based on your type of content you want you can select the type of response if it is your official content then or if you are generating an email you can make it professional or if it is a casual content you can select more casual now let's check the next update that is export python code to replit replit is a cloud based environment to write run and deploy your code in your browser so i have taken a new chat and here we'll give a prompt to generate a python code please write a python code to generate a new short story every time i run the code and this is the python code it has generated and also it has given the explanation about this code now if we click on share and export we can now see it has two more options export to collab or export to replit i will confirm i understand open replit and here you can sign in and upload your code these are the new features google bard has been updated with and it is still under development and in future we'll see more improvements and it will be more powerful hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video